guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber my name is crystal and today we're going to go through the top five eyeshadow palettes that you need if you are a makeup artist or if you are aspiring to be a makeup artist i have completed my makeup qualification at the academy of makeup in melbourne and whilst i was there i got to learn about what kind of products work for brides and bridesmaids and which products might not be the best purchases i have had a lot of clients where i've trialed different looks on them and i've come to a streamlined five palettes that i can achieve almost any look that a general bride would like. Uh, most brides don't really want super colorful looks, so most of these are quite neutral, but if you are building your kit, I definitely recommend investing in these particular eyeshadow palettes to ensure that you give the best possible look out there um, because you are all talented at doing makeup on other people as a makeup artist and ensuring that you do the perfect look every single time for your clients. Or even if you're just a makeup enthusiast, um, you can definitely just take my word for it. These palettes are fabulous and I definitely recommend that you purchase them if you are interested in making a new purchase. So before we jump into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday Melbourne Victorian time at 6am and I do content on makeup, manifestation, minimalism and a little bit of luxury. So if you like that kind of content, do not forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll also have my Instagram handles on the screen for you guys to go and check me out over there. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Gosh, I feel like there wasn't much rambling <laughs> intro I've done in a really long time. But again, like I haven't been filming in ages, so... I don't really know what I'm doing and I feel like my hair is an absolute mess today and yes I know I talk about it in like all of my videos but I can't help myself I just feel like my hair like when it's not curly it just looks like a mess so the first palette I want to talk to you guys about is an absolute no-brainer it is the soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills um, this is kind of like a staple in pretty much every single makeup artists kit it's absolutely stunning the shades in here really really do work for so many different skin tones and you can create so many different looks out of this particular eyeshadow palette I absolutely adore tempera glistening fairy burnt orange sienna rustic and bronze I really do feel like you can create a really really beautiful look on any bride or bridesmaid using this particular palette if they're looking for that um, neutral tone with a gold look on the lid. I feel like that's a very common look that people go for. There is a deep black in there as well and a mulberry shade which works really really well for the modern bride who likes to have something a little bit more sultry and smoky. You can also downgrade, downgrade I suppose, down glam the style for somebody who wants a little bit more of a neutral kind of look. It's a bit soft and not too over the top which I know a lot of brides do prefer to have a more natural look and you can still achieve that with this palette it is super pigmented you can achieve really really strong looks with this that are going to last all day and the packaging on this is just really really soft it's that beautiful velvet feel that um, Anastasia is known for with her original palettes you will get this dirty I mean I've already got a couple of marks on mine I'm not quite sure if you can see but yeah it's just such a beautiful palette I love this palette it's super reliable and it's one of my go-to's so I definitely recommend this one the next two are from the same brand so I'll just do them collectively together so the next one is by Huda Beauty this is the desert dusk palette I have recently fallen back in love with this on both myself and on my clients I am wearing this today it's got some really key shadows in here that you can use as staples to get your kit off the ground so for example the staple shades I tend to go for is amber which is this shade just here and the one on the end just here called oud um, they are absolutely stunning and then you might find also can't hold this palette up properly you might find also that the glitters in here are really great as well you can use them with a brush you can use them with your finger or you can use them damp on the lid and they look absolutely stunning super reflective and they're super pigmented they just have to be built up a bit more I think that when this palette came out there was a lot of misconception that it wasn't pigmented enough but I do think that it can reach the point that people do want you've just got to build it up and that is the beauty of this palette is that you can use it for the super glam looks for people that want that but then again you can also use it for the neutral looks as well that are a little bit softer a little bit more on the natural side which a lot of people do want they do want to look like themselves on their wedding day they don't want to be looking like somebody that they're not but they want to look like their best self so I feel like this palette is very versatile for that um, and you do have a few pops of color in there as well if you have somebody who I don't know would like to have a red for example like this one just here up here called saffron um, and then you've got a couple of really really beautiful uh, satiny glittery shades as well so I love this palette I think it's really really worth the money and it's a staple in my makeup kit the next palette is also from Huda Beauty this is the new nudes now this is my go-to for my bridesmaid I do find that the bride does prefer to have the um, 
goldy brown smoky kind of look and then they do like to have the brides with um, a really nice pinky neutral look which is what this palette can deliver I had a bride about a year or so ago um, she ended up having her original makeup artist cancel on her the day before her wedding it was a whole schmuzzle um, and then her bridesmaids also asked if I would do their makeup as well but they all wanted them to be matching because obviously they're wearing matching tones of dresses as well might not be the same dress but very similar color tone of dress so they wanted the same look on their eyes and I used this particular palette to achieve that and they looked absolutely beautiful. I will have a couple um, images of the clients on the screen for you guys to see what that looked like. Also don't forget to go and check out my makeup page if you are somebody that's based in Melbourne and you are looking for a makeup artist in the future hit me up. I do check my DMs all the time, but these girls absolutely loved how this came out. Um, the looks are very different on both of the girls. One of them wanted it to be much more softer than the other. Um, so it was a very, very like a light handed look on particularly one of them. You'll be able to tell from the images which one I'm referring to. But yeah, I absolutely love that palette. Super pigmented. You've got very unique um, kind of textures in there as well. I'll just grab that back out for you guys. But this one has the pearly textures in here as well. So she's got a couple of those in here and they really took off. They're really easy to apply with the finger or with um, even, you know how when you get the free little applicators in the eyeshadow palettes, like the old quads and stuff, it actually applies really, really well with those, which means it's super easy for you to be using disposable on your clients if you prefer to do that. I know that I don't, I do prefer to use brushes, but again, if you're trying to avoid cleaning or if you're dealing with a lot of clients, those pearly shades work well with those disposables. So um, that's always something to think about as a makeup artist in terms of speed and being able to work on multiple clients. So it's a good thing to think about. Next up is a drugstore eyeshadow palette. Now I know recently I did do a video on my channel saying uh, five brands to invest in that are expensive and five brands not to waste your money on. And this particular brand was in that video. Now I don't dislike this brand as a total. I just don't like a majority of their products but I do like their eyeshadow palettes, which is ColourPop. So this one here, it's the only one that I own by ColourPop, so I can't speak to all of them, but this is the Give It To Me Straight eyeshadow palette. I like it because it's super compact. It's very easy to work with. As you can see, there's a lot of like neutral and pinky shades in there, so you can cover both your bride and your bridesmaid with these particular shades. So you have an array of mattes. You also have a number of satiny shimmery looks as well. I do think the satiny shimmery kind of look is more popular than a glittery look, if that makes sense. And it also lasts a lot longer too. So you can use a really good primer to hold these particular satins for the eyelid. Um, I don't particularly like the P. Louise eye base, but it seems to work for a lot of different people. That one could work quite well with this. I do tend to go for Soft Ochre by MAC. That seems to be my preference in terms of choice for that kind of look and then I also like to use my Tarte Shape Tape as a base for my eyes as well. So that works really really well under those satins so if you're looking for an inexpensive version of an eyeshadow palette to add to your kit that can really have an impact that particular one from Colourpop called Give It To Me Stray is definitely a winner. So last but certainly not least, out of the top five eyeshadow palettes that you need if you're building your kit as an MUA or if you're looking to add to your kit as an MUA or even a makeup enthusiast is the OG Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. Now this is an absolute heaven sent for makeup artists because it has everything that you could possibly need in one space. You probably don't need these particular like bright shadows. You never know, you might get a bride that wants a blue lower lash line. They might want the blue for the lower lash line. You Very rare that you would get that, but you never know. Um, and you might be prepared. So this particular eyeshadow palette has everything you could need. It's got all your mattes, all your shimmers, all of your satins. It's got the whole lot. So for example, my favorite all time inner corner highlight is from this palette. I will continue to repurchase this palette for my kit if I run out of this particular shade, which is Beam. It's this one here as my inner corner highlight. I love this. I love this on my eyes. I love this on my client's eyes. I just think it's absolutely stunning. This is super easy to keep sanitized as well. You just spray it with um, some Isocol, which is um, a really good sanitizer for powders, which doesn't make your powders go hard panned. You can get that from Priceline, quite inexpensive. It's really easy to keep this sanitized. So I absolutely love this. I've made so many beautiful looks on myself and also on my clients using this particular eyeshadow palette. Now this is the eyeshadows before they were reformulated by Morphe and not vegan anymore. So this one is still vegan. Um, I can't see on here where it says that it's vegan, but I do know that this 
was purchased prior to the formula being changed. So I can't speak to the new formula, but I know that the old formula was definitely worth the money if you're an MUA, just because of its versatility and its price point, it's definitely, it's there. So um, if you are in the market for a palette, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it is so big. So it does kind of take up quite a bit of room in your kit, um, as opposed to say, this ColourPop one, as you can see, size differences. It's huge, but you have like a lot more eyeshadows in here as well. So I do feel like with this and then with the other formulas and the other shades, you really are covered for everything. And um, Morphe isn't expensive either. I think the most expensive palette out of everything that I've mentioned, I think off the top of my head, do quote me if I'm wrong, is the Huda Beauty New Nudes. I'm pretty sure this is $100 or $99 Australian, I think. So I'm not quite sure what that would be converted. I think that's something like 70 US, I can't, I can't remember. But anyway, um, this particular Morphe palette, I think this was $60. So it really is a steal for what you get. And as an MUA, you absolutely plow through this stuff like nothing else. So you've got to remember that you do want to get the most bang for your buck. And Morphe is definitely the way to go. It's just that if you're trying to go for uh, particular ingredients, or you're trying to go for the best ingredients in terms of wellness, Morphe probably isn't the best brand for that because it isn't the cleanest of ingredients, if that makes sense, uh, from the research that I've done. But you can't go past the quality. The quality is very, very good for the money. So as an MUA, I definitely recommend that palette. So that is everything from me. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. Comment a clover in the comments below if you did make it to the end. And let me know if you like these kinds of videos. This is a short and sweet video. I love it when they're short and sweet. It's just so to the point and I really enjoy watching these kinds of videos and filming them for you guys as well. So if you do like this kind of content, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will make sure that I feel more along the lines. I could do like a whole MUA tailored kit kind of series and go through each of the categories and talk you guys through it, much like I have with the eyeshadow palettes today. And um, I could make that a series on my channel if you guys like. So let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up to let me know if that is something that you would like to see. Um, and again, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this content, if you like me. If you don't, that's okay. If you want to give it a thumbs down, that'll let me know as well, which is great. And again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really love interacting with you guys and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.